If you are looking for cosmetic or just general dentistry, you can go to yourvalenciadentist.com and that'll take you over to Sm Smoothie Dentistry. And that is the, uh, and we have uh, Dr. Kelly Smoothie in studio with us. How you doing, doctor? I'm doing great this morning. How are you? I'm doing well. It's good to see you up and at them. <laughs> great to see you too. Yeah, I don't, you don't usually get uh, interviews this early. I know, it's, yeah. a, it's an early morning. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Okay, so um, uh, how are you? How's the, how are things? How was the, the holiday season? It, I'm doing great. How are you? I'm, it was a nice Christmas. Yeah, you guys had a good holiday season. Did you yes. keep your teeth nice and clean? <laughs> <laughs> we did. Okay, good. How about you? Uh, out, yeah, <laughs> I could have done better, probably. Um, but uh, we want to talk about, um, you know, just go through New Year, New You, right? Yes. And and uh, let's. Why not start with your smile, right? So, what are what are some of the things that people maybe should think about this New Year when it comes to dental health, or maybe um, some goals they should set for themselves when it comes to dental health. What, what type of things are you going running through your mind with new year, new you type of stuff? That's a great question. Um, most of our patients come in this time of year and they say, you know, this is, I'm getting a new job or I'm starting a new relationship or something's happening new in the new year or maybe a new year's resolution, um, that they put their teeth on their list. Um, and so we always say, um, there's so many things you can do dentally to refresh in yourself and your face. Um, and so one of those things they could do is whitening. If they whiten their teeth, um, that's a really quick, easy way to just whiten up their smile and 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 whiten up their appearance. Um, and then they can also um, one of the most um, easy things they can do is keep up with their cleanings. Um, that freshens up their breath and and that makes everything good. And one other thing they can do is um, Invisalign. Okay. Um, straightening their teeth helps a lot. Um, if you have uh, straight teeth, there's less uh, crevices and less places that bacteria can hide. And so it's a lot easier to have fresh breath if you have straight teeth because there's less surface areas that the bacteria can get caught in. Um, so a lot of people this time of year talk about straightening um, and and that keeps teeth cleaner and fresher and and um, people don't think about that. When and and about Invisalign is a is a kind of a, a good way to do that if you don't want to get braces or anything like that. Invisalign is a cool way to do it. Right. right? With, with Invisalign, uh, what I like about Invisalign is you can take it on and off. And so if you're taking pictures or if you're in the movie industry or something, you can just remove your braces, do whatever you have to do, and then put them back on. Nice. Um, and then after Invisalign, it's nice to, um, you know, they're, usually Invisalign, it, you're not wearing them for as long as braces, and they don't cut up your cheeks mm. as much as the metal brackets do. Um, so I always say it doesn't – it's nice to – as long as you straighten your teeth, um, however you do it is is a is is good to have straight teeth. But um, Invisalign is my favorite way to do it. Nice. Okay. So uh, again, you can go to yourvalenciadentist.com. We're speaking with Dr. Kelly Smoody of Smoody Cosmetic Cosmetic Dentistry. Easy for me to say. Uh, and uh, so I have you gave me this list of stuff, and uh, <laughs> it's like straight teeth equals success. When you look at images, Americans perceive those with straight teeth to be 45 percent more likely uh more successful than those with crooked teeth well you know there's so many studies out that um that just show um through the years about um straight teeth and people getting jobs and and if you put two people together um how if they're straighter or whiter um, people just tend to to look at first impressions and so um you know not that you know you want to be vain and, and yeah. think, oh, you have to, that's the only thing you have to worry about. But at the same time, you know, we always say if, if you're looking to, to make things better, we can help patients out a lot. It can that, help, it, it can help you in your professional life. Right. If, if people want that, we'd love yeah. to help them out. Yeah. yeah. So, and, and uh, so uh, uh, this is something it also says poor dental health can impact your work productivity. Um, you know, it, it's, there's a lot of times that we'll have people coming in in pain and they'll say, oh goodness, I haven't been to the dentist in so many years. Um, and then they come in and and they'll say, oh, we have this emergency, and then they have to stop everything they're doing. Or they'll be on a vacation, and they'll say, oh, you know, they're in so much pain, or they have an infection, and they'll have to stop their vacation or stop their day, and and they'll have to have their teeth plan their day around around them. Whereas a lot of times if we look at them and do a really good exam and say, hey, you know what, this tooth is going to be bothering you within the next six months or within the next year, if you schedule it now, you can schedule your life to where your day isn't interrupted and your life isn't interrupted. And we can, we know by looking at your x-rays and looking at you, and a lot of times we can plan for emergencies so that they don't impact your life and impact your job um, and impact your, your social life as much. 
So a lot of times, just by being proactive with dentistry, we can prevent a lot of problems before they start. But it, it, a lot of people who say, gosh, I'm not going to worry about teeth and dentistry until it until they start to hurt, then we, there's a lot more problems involved and, and they have a lot more pain and issues and it, and it ends up catching up with them. So there's a lot we can do to make people's lives easier and and keep them out of pain if, if they'll let us. And that's the thing, I, I, I as a, you're a dentist, not me, but I, I could only imagine how sometimes frustrating it can be because uh, it's, I, I know it's not easy, but uh, like people put dental health on the back burner right. when really it's, it one, it'll, it'll, you know, keep them healthy. They, right. So they want social stuff. And then also, um, it saves you money if you just, you right. just constantly, if you're going for your regular checkups and cleanings and stuff. Right. And systemically, um, in terms of periodontal disease, we, there's so many other issues that if you, if you let your teeth go, um, it can affect diabetes. Um, it can make diabetes worse and, and affects cardio, um, cardiovascular health, uh, low birth weight babies and all that. So just by get, keeping up with dentistry, you can keep your whole body health healthy. Yeah. Um, and strong as well. Yeah, just whole body health includes your teeth. Includes yeah, your teeth. Yeah, it yeah. includes We're your teeth. We're all connected. Yeah. We're all connected. Uh, and uh, one little, uh, and I, I, I'm not really surprised about this one. It says 70% of American seniors currently don't have dental coverage. Correct. And um, that's just seniors. That's seniors. not counting the, the people that aren't covered. So Right, right. A lot of um, seniors aren't working anymore. And um, a lot of people who, who don't work also don't have dental insurance as well. So what we've done is um, year after year, um, we, um, this is actually our, um, official second year that we've opened our practice up to where we do one day a year that anyone who does not have dental insurance, we open up our practice and we um, we do free dentistry one day a year. Um, it's usually around Valentine's Day. This year it's going to be February 13th. Um, it's a Friday. And we're going to open up our practice to anyone who does not have dental insurance, and they can just come in, and we'll have our doctors there, our hygienists, our assistants, our whole team will be there to do free dentistry um, and on anyone who needs it, and we'll do whatever we can. Um, and it's called Dentistry from the Heart so uh, because it's uh, Valentine's Day heart theme. Yeah. So anyway, that's what we'll be doing. So, uh, so February 13th, for those who don't have dentists, uh, dental health Correct. coverage, Correct. you guys can go to Smoothie Dentistry. Yes. And uh, and get some free dental work done. That's right. That's, That's awesome. Right. We look forward to seeing uh, whoever needs dentistry that day. Awesome, awesome. So again, February thirteenth. Make sure you go uh, if you don't have dental coverage. Go yes. head over there. Yes. Head over there. Uh, YourValenciaDentist.com. Dr. Kelly Smoothie. Thanks again for stopping by. Thank you, and Appreciate have a wonderful by. morning, Santa yeah. Clarita. Yeah.